bitches. I, I mean, I did. I did one. I did Jimmy Fallon. One seating that Jimmy Fallon and every organization wanted to get me. What did you say? I was doing a joke. Uh, I was singing. Uh, we were singing these funny songs about who let the dogs out. And so we took who let the dogs out and put it in like a um, like a like a vaudeville or a show tune. Who let the dogs out? Whatever it was, right? But beginning of that, I, I sort of ad lib like. I was watching these dogs and they were coming towards me and I was wondering, you know, who let them out? And there was a pit bull there and, you know, you have to be careful because pit bulls can be cantankerous, you know? And then I go into the song, the pit bull community. It was like Jamie Foxx has pit bull shamed us. <laughs> you pit bull shamed? <laughs> I'm pit bull shaming. Oh my God. And then there was another thing where Jimmy Fallon was doing, um, was doing some type of, uh, he was saying what, what was going to be on the next show. And I was doing a bad version of signing, which I actually know how to sign. But I was doing a bad version of You know of sign it. language? I know sign language. We'll talk more about it later. You know, Whoa. all those types of different things. But as I was doing it as a joke, I didn't know that the person that he was talking about happened to be deaf. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <clears throat> and so then, you know. So it was just all of these things, that, and I try to tell people, I say, hey, listen, we never mean anything bad. We poke fun, but we're not, we don't mean anything bad, but you can't just, you know, you can't, you, you can't kill us, I, and because I gotta keep doing what I do, you know? So it's, it's getting tougher. Well, it's just what we're talking about, about social media, about uh, people commenting on things that you can't read the comments. There's just too many people. Yeah. And people are always looking for something to be recreationally outraged at. Yeah, and the comments will get that ass, too. The comment <laughs> comment will hit you right where you are sometimes. Like, Damn, this motherfucker's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good, too, though. A little bit when I mean, they're right, when they're actually right. Like, someone can say something ridiculous about you, and if you know it's ridiculous, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But if it's got a hint of truth, you're like, ooh. But when somebody says something about your teeth... You you kind of look in the mirror. I don't understand. Man. I got. I got teeth. fucked up. Yeah. Low teeth. <laughs> I got. I got somebody hit me with the donkey. Yo, know, fucking donkey. I was like, ah. Oh. I start talking like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was crazy. So you know, but I tell people all the time, don't read the comments. That's the book. Don't read yeah. the comments because it will make you start to change the way you do things. If I read all of the comments, I never tell another joke. Yeah. If I read all the comments, I'll never try another, you know, th I got a movie that we just uh, shot for little or nothing called All Star Weekend. And it, the jokes are like all the way out there, you know, and it, and it's I got everybody in it, you know, and we're all taking we all play different characters. Like I play a white racist, white racist cop. <laughs> and how do you do that? Oh, I'll, sh I'll show it to you. I'll, gra I'll grab this <laughs> thing and show it to you. But it's uh, they, uh, Robert Downey Jr. plays a Mexican. Uh, Gerard Butler plays a Russian who loves gymnastics. Uh, Benicio Del Toro plays this crazy tattoo artist. And we're all, you know, we're all doing our thing. So it's like if you read the comments, that'll make you tuck that in. But this is some brilliant. And, and it's, it, it's, it's a cool little thing, too. It's, it's called uh, All-Star Weekend for a reason. It's about two guys. One guy loves Steph Curry. The other guy loves LeBron James. And all they're trying to do is get to the All-Star game. And it's sort of like this whole journey of running into all these people. So it's dope. But it is some things where it's like, ooh. You know, you could see there's gonna be some some shit going on. Well, Robert Johnny Jr. just from Tropic Thunder. Think about that. You can never do that anymore. You can't have blackface anymore. Yeah. You know what? I, I'll say this: people have to understand where it comes from. There are real people out there that really mean you harm. Like outside of us, I mean, there's some real people who really don't fucking like you. Whatever you are, whether you're black, you're white, you're, you're straight, you're gay, whatever it is, there's some people who really don't like. We're the entertainment. And it's easy. We're easy targets. We're easy. It's easy for you to jump on Robert Downey Jr. or Jamie Foxx or Joe because it's easy. You know, when it's real things, which, you know, whether it's politics or whether it's whatever, a lot of times we, we sort of, we're not ready for that fight. But it's easy to sort of pick the comedian. I called Robert. I said, listen, I, I need you to play a Mexican. He says, dude, uh, here's the deal. Sure. Fuck it. <laughs> sure. Why not? Fuck it. Sure. Of course. Mexican, whatever. But then he texts back and said, I'm nervous to play the Mexican. I said, well, shit, you played the black dude and you killed that shit. We're just all, you know, we got to be able to do characters. What kind of blowback did he get from playing the black dude? None. Because we fucked with him. It was before him. The Wire, too, though. It was like, what, what year was Tropic Thunder? I feel like that was like 10 years ago. It was wild. But 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 here's the thing. We fuck with Robert Downey Jr. Like that's our guy. Right. Like I did his birthday party 
And my first joke was, how dare you take all of these roles from black people? <laughs> you know, and anyway, everybody's laughing. How we so it's sort of like the entertainers, man. We, sh- we You got to give us room, you know what I'm saying, like to, to play in it. I'll show you when I... Well, you got to go, take that room. You got to take it. You, you yeah. can't worry about... I saw Chappelle somewhere. It was like, you know, they were asking him about his jokes. And he's like, yo, man, look, you know, people have said worse shit. And I think he said something about Donald Trump saying grab him by the pussy or some shit, whatever. But it was true. It was like the one thing... Uh, that you look at what happened with politics this year, people sort of stripped away a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you believed in, uh, whatever person you voted for, it was a lot of things that were sort of addressed about, like, maybe we were playing things a little too close. Like, some of those politicians were afraid to say what Donald Trump was saying, and they ended up, being left in the dust because people are a little like, well, well, he's he's got a point in the sense that we're playing things a little too close.